Welcome to EliteGuitars.com. My name is Tavi Ginariu and today I'll be teaching you how to play Canso del Liadre, which in translation means the song of the thief. Under normal circumstances, a confession should be characterized by sorrow and repentance and remorse, and we would expect the music to mirror that, those kind of attitudes. Uh, however, the character of this piece is somewhat playful and it makes us wonder whether this confession from the thief is a true heartfelt confession or he, uh, he's confessing because he got caught. I would suggest that as you play this piece, you bring out that playful, almost mischievous quality of this uh, confession from this thief. This is Canso del Liadre. The piece begins with a D major chord and I need to mention that uh, the tuning for this piece has a drop D tuning, which means that the lowest uh, string, the sixth string E, is tuned down one step to D. And so here is a D major chord. Okay, so let's begin by forming a D major chord. The first finger will press the third string on the second fret, playing an A note. The second finger will play a D note on the second string, third fret and the third finger will play an F-sharp note on the fourth string, fourth fret. So let's begin. We're going to begin by plucking the sixth string, D note, followed by A and D. A on the third string and D on the second string. For the right hand, we're going to use thumb, middle finger, and annular, or the ring finger. Again, followed by an F sharp now, an A note. The F sharp on the right hand is plucked with the I finger and the A note plucked with the M finger. Altogether, the first four eighth notes. Followed by a D played with a fourth finger on the fifth string, fifth fret an F sharp and open A fifth string. So the first bar together goes like this. As you play this chord, make sure that you allow all the notes to ring out throughout the entire bar. bar of this piece is identical to the first bar. We're going to use that last A note of the open string, fifth string, as an intro to the melody proper. So. first note we're going to play is a D in the bass open 6th string together with an F sharp. You could play those together or you could play them arpeggiato. Uh, if you choose to play these two notes broken apart as an arpeggio, um, the, the way rhythmically we should think about this is for the 6th string to anticipate the downbeat. So, So that the F sharp actually falls right on the beat. Uh, if you choose to play them a little bit more straightforward in the beginning, you could play them together as blocked notes. So D and F sharp. The F sharp is played with a fourth finger on the second string, seventh fret, and open sixth string D together. Followed by open fifth string A and F sharp played with the first finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. So followed by an E note played with the second finger on the second string, fifth fret. Notice that the first finger functions kind of like a partial bar here. 
Um, not that we need any of these nodes pressed by the partial bar, but technically it allows the hand to adjust better to the motions of this bar. So. For me, it works better to keep the first finger relatively flat on the fretboard. So let's uh, review this again, D and F sharp together, followed by the fifth open A string, F sharp, E note, play with the second finger on the second string fifth fret, and then a D note. The D note is played with a fourth finger on the third string seventh fret. Back to E note, already pressed by the second finger on the second string fifth fret. F sharp, played with a fourth finger on the second string seventh fret, and then a slide to the G note, which is half a step, one fret over. So. to use this G note played with the second finger on the second string, eighth fret, as an anchor finger to form the next chord. So, slide to G, and now I'm going to form a partial bar chord with the first finger on the fifth fret, pressing four out of the six strings. And I'm going to play together an E and an A note simultaneously. The E note is played with the third finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, and the A note is already pressed by the partial bar finger on the first string, fifth fret. Followed by G, already pressed by the fourth finger on the second string, eighth fret, and then C sharp, played with the second finger on the third string, 6th fret, and then A note, the 3rd finger will release that E note, raise and then press the A note on the 4th string, 7th fret, so, open 5th string, A, followed by a 3rd string, G, and a B note, play with the 1st finger on the 1st string, 7th fret, and then a C-sharp note, play with a 4th finger on the 1st string, 9th fret, and here I'm going to form a D major chord, uh, F-sharp, D, A, and D. The F-sharp is played with a 2nd finger on the 5th string, 9th fret, the D note is played with the 1st finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret, a note played with a 2nd finger on the 2nd string, 10th fret, and a D note played with a 4th finger, 1st string, 10th fret. And I'm playing F sharp and D, so 5th string and 1st string together. Followed by an octave. E and E together. So, Let's review A, G, B, C sharp, F sharp, followed by D and E together. E and E together. This first E is played with the fourth finger on the first string, 12th fret. This E note here is played with the first finger on the third string, 9th fret. This next chord is formed almost uh, identically to that previous D major chord. Only everything is shifted one fret over. The notes then would be um, F natural followed by a C sharp, C sharp, and then G sharp. followed by D octaves, the first D played with the 4th finger on the 1st string, 10th fret, the second D played with the 1st finger on the 3rd string, 7th fret, and 
then an E minor chord. This is a partial bar chord where the first finger presses five out of the six strings on the seventh fret. And the second finger will press a G note. This G note is found on the second string, eighth fret. For the right hand, we're going to pluck the fifth, third, second, and first string. And then a triplet figure. And all this is by virtue of a legato, which means you're going to hammer on a C sharp and pull off back to a B. Hammer on to a C sharp. The C sharp is played with the third finger on the first string, ninth fret. Pull off to the B note already pressed by the first finger on the seventh fret. And then I'm going to slide. I'm going to slide this second finger from a G note to A. This A note is played on the second string, tenth fret, followed by open E. G note played with a fourth finger on the third string, twelfth fret. C sharp played with a third finger on the fourth string, eleventh fret open string E and then open fifth strings A. So let's review this triplet. Let's try this again with focus on the right hand now. After this chord, we're going to go to a D major chord, uh, played in the 7th position. And the first finger will press 4 out of the 6 strings on the 7th fret. And I'm going to play two D notes, open 6th string D, together with the D played on the 1st string, 10th fret. We're going to play this D with the 4th finger. Followed by A and F sharp. The A is already pressed by the first finger on the 4th string 7th fret. F sharp already pressed by the first finger on the 2nd string 7th fret. So, followed by a C sharp. The C sharp is played with the 3rd finger on the 1st string 9th fret. Now I'm going to use this third finger as a guide finger to slide from the C sharp back to a B note. And this B note is played with a third finger on the first string, seventh fret. We're going to play that B note simultaneously with a D sharp in the bass and open B second string. The D sharp in the bass plays with a second finger, fifth string, sixth fret together with open 2nd string B and high B note and a uh, pull off from this B note to an A note the A note played with the 1st finger on the 1st string 5th fret and now I'm going to take this A note and slide it all the way to a B again so the 1st finger will slide from an A to a B note, and this B note is on the 1st string, 7th fret. Followed by G note, played with the 2nd finger on the 2nd string, 8th fret. So let's try this again. And now I'm playing two E notes, the first one in the bass, Play with the first finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, and open first string, followed by G and B open third and second string. Then a legato from F sharp to G. The F sharp is played with the first finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, and the G note played with the second finger on the fourth string, fifth fret and a slide to a B flat, F sharp, G, 
and this B flat is played with the second finger, fourth string, eighth fret. So B flat, D. The D is uh, played with a partial bar chord here on the seventh fret that is found on the third string, seventh fret, followed by an F sharp already pressed by the first finger on the second string, seventh fret, and a legato, a hammer on from F sharp. To G, the G is played with the third finger on the second string, eighth fret. So, and now I'm going to go all the way to the tenth fret, and I'm going to play two A notes together: A open fifth string, and an A note played with the first finger on the second string, tenth fret, followed by F sharp. Play with the second finger on the third string, 11th fret, and a C sharp note. This C sharp note is played with a fourth finger on the second string, 14th fret. Then a harmonic, a natural harmonic, played with a third finger on the fifth string, 12th fret. So. Slide back with a fourth finger to an A note played on the second string, tenth fret, followed by open fifth string, open string again, F sharp played with a second finger, second string, seventh fret. So This is a triplet figure. We're going to play D, F sharp, and E together. D open sixth string, F sharp played with the first finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, and E played with the second finger on the second string, fifth fret. Hammer on and pull off from E to F sharp. The E is on the fifth fret, F sharp played with the fourth finger on the second string, seventh fret slide back to a D. The second finger plays a D on the second string, third fret. So, followed by an F sharp, play with the third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, A, play with the first finger, third string, second fret, D note, play with the fourth finger, fifth string, fifth fret, F sharp played with a third finger, fourth string, fourth fret, and open A. In context, this would sound something like this. Okay, and I'm going to see you back in the next section. This is the harmonic section.